Hi there, goddess. I'm so glad you found your way to this video. I'm Melissa Bishop, brilliant life mentor and hot storm therapist in St. Thomas. And I'm passionate about helping superwomen just like you who struggle with body aches and burnout to sail through the day with boundless energy and more ease and more grace. In this video, I'm going to bring to light one sneaky energy vampire that sucks up your time and zaps your energy. If you want to know how to avoid it, you'll stay tuned. Let me begin by asking you to think of a time of when you were plowing through a particular task or maybe an important project, and presto. To your surprise, you finished a wee bit early. What action did you take next? If I were to take a guess, you may have said to yourself, awesome, I have a few extra minutes to squeeze in and finish up, fill in the blank, only to discover afterwards that this innocent little diversion had more accurately drained away what little free time you had. And repeat this action several times a day, you now have a full-blown energy vampire on your hands, one that adds more to your already overflowing plates of to-dos. Not good. What am I speaking about? It's the last minute squeeze in. We're all guilty of it, and yours, including yours truly. I'm going to identify three of the most popular ones and give you three quick ways to avoid the temptation. So here we go. Number one, there's no quick phone call, especially when Chatty Cathy's calling. Check your messages and then bulk those callbacks together to take care of them during the time that you set aside to do so. Probably a block of time. Then take these few moments that you do have to break away from your desk and the phone to stand up, stretch, and breathe. Number two, inbox mayhem. For every one email that you send results in average of six emails. Six from one email. So eliminate your email distraction, just like bulking your return phone calls. Block off a chunk of time to respond, to check and respond to your emails. Number three, and lastly, quell the eager beaver. Instead of following someone else's agenda and jumping right into a request that has been sent your way, Take a few moments to assess how much time it would take to complete, and then add it to your own agenda based on priority. So you can reward yourself with a break, grab a, grab a drink of water or a snack, and allow yourself to feel satisfied about what you have accomplished today. This prepares your mind space and energy to fully focus on the next task at hand. Becoming more aware of energy vampires like the last minute squeeze in, will certainly help you be proactive in creating some more space for ease and flow, to flow within your day. You bet the work will always be there, but you have a choice on how to handle it. So that's it. To get more great tips like I've shared today, why don't we stay connected? You can sign up for my free ebook at this address below or follow Elements of Natural Health on Facebook. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I'm Melissa Bishop. Make it a great day.